coming over for the vampire procedures that I'm doing here today. Where's my patient, babes? There's nobody here. Mustache seems to always be the resident fuck up all the time. Seriously, there's no patient? No patient. Why? For the last six years that we've had Dolce Aesthetics, everything leads back to Stash. I don't know, I don't know who called you. I don't know who put a patient in. Every time there's a mix up with appointments, appointments are deleted, they're not put in, it always seems like it's Stash. Listen, you know I came all the way from the hospital. I really would like to be home right now. What do you Sorry. mean there's no patient? Wait, so I she's gonna go and I'm tell supposed to have a patient tonight. You must be pissed. Of course I'm pissed. I don't understand. They called, they called me. They I don't know called who called me this you. morning. I don't know if he's partying too much. I don't know what he's doing, but he's always screws up everything. No patient. You My, know what? I left the hospital. I can't. I'm, a, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. This is the last party. We just opened in our new office in Queens. We moved from a small office where we started, where I thought that we'd never make it, and I was afraid that we wouldn't survive, and we wound up moving into this beautiful new office, six blocks down. Um, today was our grand opening in our new location, and it turned out fantastic. It was a great, smooth transition, and I feel like we've been here forever. store I never even heard of this I've been just driving around and around hi my name is Tina Elise and I'm here to have Jen fix all these horrible looking lines going on over here because I can't be seen outside at this point I've been calling Jen already for two weeks no phone call back so um, yeah I'm waiting to get stuck with the needle getting ready for the pain where is she I'm like, I'm really pissed off right now. This what is, is this? Like, this is our first day. It's a grand opening. We're ridiculous. celebrating. We're celebrating our grand opening. This looks like you're running a deli here. What? And the walls are blue? Where's Jen? I gotta talk to her about it. She's inside this. with a client. Would you like to sit down with her? I've got my friend outside. I don't have time to wait. She has to stick me in before anybody else. I didn't even get a notice that they were changing locations. I was just at the old place banging on the door for a half an hour. It, it, it's it's unbelievable. It's not even the same colors. What What is going on, Jen? What did you do? She needs to be on medication, seriously. She needs like some kind of mood stabilizer or she's bipolar. I'm a she's already, of hers she's already with a client at the moment. I'm not waiting. I'm telling you right now, so she needs well, to come out. Well, there's right a lock now. on her door, so you're gonna have to wait. Jen, can you please come out? I'm like really upset. Uh, I'm not kidding around. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I have I, a patient. She's coming. Why didn't you tell me minutes. that that you moved? I don't even know anything. I about told you this. that I moved. I'm so. I angry. told you that I moved. I mean, Alisa, you're I, on Facebook 24/7. How I, did you see, see the? Post? I have five thousand people well, on my site. I mean, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I'm that oh, uh, you know famous. That famous? Okay, but I posted on Facebook and I sent you a text message. And I have a patient well, here. Please stop okay. banging on my door. Jen is a longtime friend of mine from Howard Beach, and I love her to death, but she drives me crazy. Stop banging on the door, because you, like would, want this, you know? would want the same respect, you'd want the same respect if you were in this room. And she'd probably say I drive her crazy too, but I still love her. Love you, Jen. Thank you, sit, have a piece of cake, thank you. Really? Patient sitting in the room like that. Uh, All these lines on my head, Jen. You, you know I, I, I can't. Do you want to look like Howdy Doody? You, yes. Are you gonna look like Joan Crawford with the eye up like this? No, I like the look of the crazy cat lady. Your forehead looks like glass. I don't want to be seen in public. You gotta see something. It doesn't matter. You know why? Because we're old. When we get older, we see all these things, well, unfortunately. Like Let's get going. Five. Come on, get the needles out. Let's go. Oh, God, you're killing me, Jen. Oh, my. Elisa, I've well, never seen you this oh, this unruly. What's going on? Because I went to the other place. Your shop was changed. Nobody told me. So why didn't you call before you came? That would have helped. She needs to go on psychotropic drugs. Elisa, I texted you. We sent out messages. No, this is not good enough. This has to be like... 
I'll do one more shot. All right, thank you. When we have a receding hairline, as that happens when we get older, if we go too far back into the line, it will make this and push this down and you will really hate me. So you don't want me to do that, right? No. This we can do. I would rather do it more than one time, mm -hmm. just in case, because I don't want your eyelids to droop. Mm -hmm. And you won't want, and they won't droop, they'll just be pushed down like this, and you don't want that. So the further back you go, that's what happens, just so you know. So patients complain a lot about a line that's like right above the hairline, so there is two muscles on the forehead, and it's the glabella and the frontalis. And if you hit too high, if somebody has a very, very big forehead, or their hairline goes back too far, if you hit too far back in the hairline, you can make the eyebrows droop here, which, which makes it look like this, very heavy. Um, so you have to be careful about that. And sometimes it's a trade-off when you do Botox. So um, patients sometimes, you know, they don't get it. And sometimes I wind up hitting them there and then they see how heavy it is and they don't like it and then they don't want to do it anymore. So I sometimes have to do it so that I can show them how the heaviness feels and how it looks. The other patients are gonna have to wait. I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> She's gonna have to be here for a while. I need a Vicodin or something over here. Xanax, please. She thinks just because she's gonna get fillers and Botox, she thinks I should give her medication. What's with this blue? What happened to the purple? My blue wall. What can I say about the blue wall? It is bluish purple. I just think, I think that you're a purple, mine. purple I am person. Purple. It's not really blue, it's not really purple, but it should be all purple. So what can I say about the blue wall? Do I hate it? Do I love it? I think I hate it. Like I said, Jen knows best. I do know best. Sit That's there with your rice pack, you'll be fine. Jen knows best. She really does. So how was your day today, babe? It was okay, but um, I'm still getting followed by this SUV. This big black SUV truck. It's what? been going on for like a couple of weeks now. So Sal, really? We know he's following her around because he obviously knows everything she does every second of the day. Hey, Jeff, come on. I brought some food for your grand opening. I don't know whether to think it's impressive with him or he's just a stalker. I'm starting to really think he's a stalker and he's starting to really piss me off. What happened to you when I when you left last week? You just drove away when I Ray wanted to come out and talk Honestly, to you about I, the video. Honestly, I didn't want any confrontation. I, I thought it was a better thing not to cause any scene in front of your house. You know? Sal, you let my dog out. No, I never did, you know I never did that though? I mean, that's really not important. I mean, Sal, you know, Sal, really? Thinking, honestly, do you want me to admit that I let the dog out just so I can hang out with Jaron? Because I mean, this is like taking oh. a... So what, you want to admit, admit that, that you did it that because you just want to take my door out or you just you want to admit yeah, that you, you did want. it? I mean, I'm not going to admit to something I didn't do, but you know, I might as well just say, yeah, I did it so I could just eventually just take out your daughter. Do you drive a black SUV? You don't have a black SUV? I actually traded it in for a small car. You know, I figured I saved the environment a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He's going to lie and he's gonna talk about this stupid smart car. What's going on, uh, huh? Not much, how are you doing? What brings you in here? Yeah, nothing much, I was just wondering if you, you know, you wanted to come out this weekend. Okay, uh, when? I don't know, I'm thinking Friday. Okay, Friday night, what time? Eight o'clock, it's cool. Okay. In your black SUV. Um. Today I'm going to get a hangover cure. And this is our beautiful Ivy nurse that's going to explain to you. She is going to get a hangover cure. This IV has many vitamins, vitamin B complex, vitamin B12, B6, vitamin C. So it's gonna help you to hydrate your body. It's gonna help with immunity. It's gonna help with getting ready to sleep at night. She won't feel as tired tomorrow when she wakes up. Um, I've done it personally and I totally love it. I swear by it. What we do first is we clean the skin prepare the skin with an alcohol, we put it, apply a tourniquet, um, insert the IV into the arm wherever the, the person feels more comfortable. After that, we flush the IV to make sure that it's in the vein. We secure the IV with a tegaderm or a tape. And after, we start running the IV bag. So I'm gonna feel like a million dollars in 10 dollars. minutes. Do you feel hot and tingly? I'm always hot and tingly, baby. I'm always hot and tingly. 
I taste it. <laughs> so some people, when they're getting IV therapy, will experience a metallic taste in the mouth, or some people explain it, uh, describe it as more of a vitamin-y type of um, taste, which is totally normal. That actually comes from the opening of the vessels from the magnesium and the addition of the b12 injection so one of the things that people ask with iv therapy is how will i feel this effect will it be um, immediate will it take a long time um, most people are not going to feel a super energetic um, feeling right after iv therapy however you will feel less tired so for example when your day is jam-packed and you have a nine to five day usually by the time five o'clock hits you're like so tired but instead of feeling that fatigue you'll just kind of feel like hmm hey i have a little bit more energy but now the happy patient at dolce Woo <laughs> so i'm the happy patient today yeah So Botox Party entails a bunch of women who want Botox for cheap prices because they think that I drive all the way to their house and I'm going to take <laughs> less money. The Ice House is located in the Bronx. It has a beautiful marina. The people are great. I love those Bronx girls. It's my, one of my favorite places to go. And they have their boat slips that all the boats come in. Um, they have their firework parties. But they do really do have some good food, I have to say. Jen is here tonight doing one of her Botox parties. We try to do them like every three months. I met Jen about five years ago. She's awesome. We usually get great turnouts here. It's convenient because everybody can just come after work and get their stuff done and you know, you don't have to go to the office. It's a nice night to get together with the girls. Awesome. Come here, oh, yeah. I am just getting Botox on my forehead. I have these little 11s here that I hate. <laughs> I'm very like, scared to do a lot of stuff so I just do like a very little bit on my forehead but I've been coming to Jen for about three or four years now and she's the best. We've been doing the Botox parties for about five or six years now. Smile. Right before Christmas, we do it right before the summer, we do it after the summer to get rid of the summer tan lines. Everybody feels good when they leave, we do peels, we do it all. She absolutely just does to perfection where people don't look at me and go, oh my God, you had something done. It just looks totally natural, so I love it. She's awesome, she does everything. I've had fat freezes from her, I've had Botox, I've had fillers, I've had lips, you name it, I've done it. You lift a lot of weights, right? Yeah. That's why. You have to be careful, with, especially with bodybuilders because their muscles kind of like fuse together and they turn one, two muscles into one. So you kind of have to tweak their, their treatments of Botox. But this yeah. muscle is really strong. <laughs> you know, think about it, when you lift weights, you're like, and you lift it in your face. So it's causing, you know, it's like, it's making them contracted. That's why it's I making them stronger. Right. So we like contractions <laughs> here, we don't like them here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason. That's why I stopped going to the gym. I good reason. Go. I don't want to mess my Botox up. That's a, that's a great reason not to go to the gym. My... And as far as the fillers, because your metabolism is going so quickly, you do lose the um, the filler very quickly after it's deposited, especially with bodybuilders. I can't go to the gym anymore because I don't want to mess up my Botox. My husband says I think it's a fantastic excuse. <laughs> you have to make sure that you really kind of know their specific anatomy because if you place it in the wrong spot, you can droop their eyebrows and droop their eyes. This is for you, gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to give you some love. Thank you, Jen. Love you. Another happy page. She takes everything out because she's a control freak. When you're very controlling, it's a genius. You know, I have a 143 IQ. Oh, you see, Terry? <laughs> I do. Joanne, every time we have a Botox party, she forgets something. It's either the mirror, the gloves, my little tool to open up the Botox bottle. She forgets something. And then I always say, Joanne, do we have it? She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we don't have it. Oh, like you didn't forget the gloves the last time, right? The only reason why those gloves were not there for a year ago was because she messed up the bed. We drove all the way to Staten Island with no gloves. No gloves. I had to find a place to buy gloves, and everything was closed. Really gonna do this, right? Really, you're doing it. 
And she was about to do it again. She didn't think, yeah, we got the gloves today. She almost did it again. Every time we go to a Botox party, it never fails. Something's missing. Something's not with me. I don't have it. So you're going to start again, right? The last time we were at the ice house, three months ago, am I right? We had no mirror. Now, the mirror was there last week, but now it's not here. Tell me what. I feel like we had the gloves too, right? She forgot. But she likes to blame everybody else. Joanne just can't seem to get it together, and every time we're at a party, there's something missing. Uh, thank you, Sandra. Uh, thank you, you so much. Every time I go to Botox party, she forgets the mirror. Botox, Botox mirror. The reason Jennifer I forgot it here. Joanne always forgets something, and she forgot the mirror this time. About two years ago, Jen started pushing me. She's like, why don't you get back into the drums, stop playing and stuff like that, because me and her, we go see live bands. I still do the concert thing. And she's like, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you following your dream? And... I'm putting together, well, I put back together a band that I was in 20 years ago, 25 years ago. Ray got us back together. What's with the camera? This is for a dating website. Ray earlier this year suggested we get back together and record some of our old material. We were in Brooklyn and uh, right here where we stand, it's like a music colony over here. In this building alone, there's over a hundred rooms. <laughs> Everything we've cut sounds great, and we're all happy with it. It's kind of timeless music in a way, like good rock and roll is timeless. Started, I started slow, I went out and bought a drum kit, then I just took it up a notch. Man, that's perfect with that chord. We used to play Continental, CBs, Webster Hall, all those places. I think it sounds tougher lower though, to be honest with you. Listen to it. I'll, I'll I did. I heard both. Go ahead, do the other one. For me, it's always been about music. Fucking. It was a good day tonight. Good I didn't day. think it was gonna happen, man. Three, three. So we had our grand opening today for our third location. I'm very excited. It's in Howard Beach. It's another location in Queens. It's on Cross Bay Boulevard in Howard Beach. Everybody came. We had an Elvis impersonator. He was one of my clients. He, he said, Jen, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna I'm gonna sing for you. I wanna do this for you because I'm proud of you and we're glad that you had the, I've been with you since the beginning when you were in a basement doing Botox. That's where I was in a basement doing Botox. That's where I started. And now I have three locations. I'm killing it. Well, she's on a roll, can I say? I'm so happy for my mom. It's her third location. And soon it's gonna be, I'm gonna be a part of it, which is crazy to me. I'm so excited to be here for the third opening of Dolce. Um, I've been with her since day one. We opened in a basement and to watch her grow into this beautiful business is amazing. I'm so proud of her and I love her so much. She's something else, she's superwoman, you know? And then I'm gonna follow my mom's footsteps and hopefully be as good as she is someday. Aw, 
I'm a lamb. Oh, I can have a <laughs> this is her third place, and uh, I don't even know if she wants that. I think she'll probably do another one after this. She's on a roll. What happened to the outfits we picked out for tonight? Okay, I look like a race car driver. <laughs> exactly. As far as Jen and I, <laughs> today. Everything is, you know, good. Everything is the way it should be. Yay! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Yay! <laughs> hip hip hooray! I ran Georgie out of town, and uh, good riddance. I want to pat myself on the back. I think I'm doing great. At least I hope I'm doing great. I hope I'm a good role model to my girls because, you know, I took care of them by myself. You know, I had no real help from anybody else taking care of them financially. I'm doing this basically for them, you know, and I'm doing this because I, have, I was raised by strong women and um, I hope to pass that on to my children that they can know that they can accomplish anything that they put their minds to. Everybody wants to see in the limelight